Unmasking virus writers and hackers. When we think of the people who make our lives miserable by hacking into computers or spreading malicious viruses, most of us imagine an unpopular teenage boy, brilliant but geeky, venting his frustrations from the safety of suburban bedroom. Actually, these stereotypes are just that. Stereotypes, according to Sarah Gordon, an expert in computer viruses and security technology, and a senior research fellow with symmetric security response. Since 1992, Gordon has studied the psychology of virus writers. A hacker or a virus writer is just as likely to be the, the guy next door to you, she says or the kid at the checkout line back in your groceries. Your area's hacker is not necessarily some got tie dresses entirely in black and sporting a nose ring. She may very well be a 50 year old female. The virus writers Gordon has come to know have varied backgrounds, while predominantly male, some are female, some are solidly academic, while others are athletic. Many have friendships with members of the opposite sex, good relationship with their parents and families. Most are popular with their peers. They don't spend all their time in the basement. One virus writer volunteers in his local library, working with elderly people. One of them is a poet and a musician, musician. Another is an electrical engineer and others work for a university quantum physics department. You wouldn't pick them out of the lawyer as being a perpetrator. Hackers and virus writers are actually very different distinct populations. Hackers tend to have a more through knowledge of system and a more highly developed skill set. Gordon says, whereas virus writers generally take a slower approach to what they are doing, hackers tend to have a much deeper knowledge of individual applications and are still regarded as being somewhat sexy in today's culture culture. Why virus writing is looked down upon mostly for its random damage and lack of required skill. Their motivations may also differ. Why both hackers and virus writers are initially attracted by the technical challenge. Hacking is more about power and control. When you're hacking and you get into a system, you remain involved with that system. You take it over and dominate. On the other hand, once the virus writer releases a program into the wild, the virus goes up and keeps on making copies of itself independently of the author. It's not as intimate or connected a relationship as between a hacker and the computer. The virus, the virus writer relinquishes control and becomes disassociated from the actual activity he or she has set in motion. <laughs>